Hey, how's it going everybody? I've been here from the Vanscliff channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new to this channel, I'm glad that you're here. And on this channel, I usually talk about action figures such as Star Wars, Marvel, or anything that I like. I do toy hunting, toy vlogs, toy unboxing, and for today, we're doing a toy review. And if this is something that you enjoy, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. When doing reviews, rather than just looking at the good things, I also evaluate the negative things that can be seen in an action figure and by doing this, it will allow me to show you guys if these flaws are something that you can live with and will definitely help you with the decision making. It has always been my passion to spark interest in toy collecting by giving tips and smarter ways to collect through online videos. So make sure to stick till the end of the video because I'll be discussing about accessories, aesthetics and articulation and it starts right now. Big Bad Toy Store is a massive selection of toys like action figures, statues, and a lot of geek stuff. So make sure to buy your toys at Big Bad Toy Store. I put a link in the description down below, so go check them out. Once again, thank you for joining us in another episode of Who's That Fig? And for today's episode, we're having a look at Star Wars The Black Series 3 and 3 quarter scale Darth Vader from the Return of the Jedi movie. So let's have a quick look at the packaging. At the front of the box, starting from the bottom, you'll see a warning and Hasbro's logo, Darth Vader, an image, and the Star Wars Black Series logo. On the left side of the box, you'll see Darth Vader's name in an item code. On the right side of the box, you'll see Darth Vader's name in red and in watermark background. At the back of the box, starting from the bottom, you'll see Hasbro's logo, attention in different languages. There's Disney's logo, Star Wars Black Series logo, an introduction of Darth Vader, which I'm going to zoom in for you guys to read. Alright, so let's open this up and uh, take a closer look. Out of the box, here's how the figure looks. It came with three accessories, including the cape. And this figure stands about 105 centimeters. And that's four and a quarter inch. Alright, so let's look on to the accessories real quick. So the uh, first accessory that we have is a lightsaber. The blade is on a uh, translucent red and you can definitely see some paint spilling on this part. There's some black spots in there. The hilt is painted in silver and black and you can definitely see those sculpted details on the hilt as well. The next accessory would be the helmet and the helmet is made out of soft plastic and you can definitely see the satin finish on the helmet and i don't know if you notice this guys on this part it's kind of flat this one is molded nicely and the problem with that is if you put on to the head you can definitely notice it's flat in here maybe for some of you guys it's not a heck of a big deal but uh, it's just something that has to be point out and the uh, last accessory that came with this figure is the cape for me the cape is kind of off it doesn't look really nice and if you notice this part is uh, folding backwards it doesn't hang very nicely and that's the reason why it's kind of off looking for me look at that and if you guys see this, this is actually a uh, metal chain and it's supposed to be a separate piece. But what they did is they actually made it one piece. So uh, those are the accessories that came. Now let's uh, look onto the figure starting with the head and you can definitely see some painted details, sculpted details onto the mask and I think that's really nice. And at the back you'll see uh, Darth Vader's head and there's also some uh, sculpted details. Kind of looks like it's bleeding and on top of the head you'll also see some chips sculpted on the top portion which is really cool and you can definitely see some painted marks those painted dots onto the back of the neck looks awesome the uh, chest armor 
I find the paint app very sloppy. I don't know if you guys see this, but it kind of looks like a thumb mark. It doesn't show in the camera, but if you're... That, that definitely is a thumb mark on the chest piece. Can you see that? On this part, there's thumb marks, right? The paint application on this uh, chest piece is very sloppy. Onto the torso section, uh, you can definitely see the sculpted details. It's nicely painted. All the uh, dots, like the uh, buttons, on to the uh, torso section is painted nicely. Even on the uh, belt and on the uh, arms, you can definitely see the sculpted clothing in there. You see this those sculpted clothing, and at the back. Okay, it's in a uh, kind of satin finish at the back. Those uh, sculpted wrinkles. It's not that much. That's why it looks natural. You know, because that's what a fabric looks like in real life. And if you put too much, just like Revan's here, it doesn't look natural. And we do have some soft goods in here, some sculpted clothing onto the leg part. And we do have a glossy boots, All right? I wish they could have made the hands glossy, the gloves. All right, so uh, articulation. Uh, this figure does have some weird articulation to be honest. So let's start with the head. The head is on a swivel. So uh, you can this can definitely rotate. The shoulder is on a swivel as well. So there's no hinge. So there's basically no way for you to raise this up horizontally. The only thing that it can do is rotate 360. Right, you can raise his arms and rotate. And instead of having a hinge and a swivel elbows, it does have like a cut, a swivel cut. It does not, there's no hinge on the entire arms, only swivels. So look at that. This is the first time that I've seen an action figure that does have this kind of articulation. So that's this that's a that's like a slanted cut. So uh it does rotate 360, it can rotate, but uh it's just weird. So um, the the way for you guys to raise this up is to like do like this, but y you can see that you're overextending the arms. There's no way for you to raise it like this. If you tuck in the elbows, that's how it's gonna look. So if you try to extend this. The hands, the hands are gonna go down, and we do not have a hinge and a swivel wrist, but we do have glove swivel. Here, this can definitely rotate 360. And if you notice, the hands is stretched out too much for the left and the right, so I'm not really sure how. He can hold the lightsaber. Well, he can hold it onto the left, but uh, onto the right, there's just no way for him to hold his. The hand is overextended. See, it's stretched out too much. 
that's just weird articulation i don't know why it's like this it doesn't look good and uh, that's for the arms we do have a torso articulation swivel and we also have a uh, floating coach piece and it's in a uh, soft rubbery material so it's not gonna get into the way when you raise up the legs as for the legs we do have a swivel as well he can lift his legs up high it's not kicking straight all right it's slanting but uh, it's a good thing that there's boot swivel in here so you can just fix it but uh, yeah it can can kick forward nicely there's no tie cut but there is a boot swivel and a hinge all right so there's a hinge here it's a single hinge knees in a swivel okay and there's no ankle articulation in this figure that is just some weird articulation i know there's a lot better Darth Vader figures out there for 3 inch that's basically it for articulation final verdict I honestly don't recommend this figure and if you're gonna buy this just keep it inside the box that would be better there's a lot of options out there there's a lot of much better Darth Vader's out there for out of box right this does not pose nicely and I don't know. You can't even move the wrist. You can't even move the ankles. I don't know. I don't know why they did that, to be honest. It's like it's an old school figure, but it's not. That's the thing. This is a black series figure. So it should have been a modern action figure. The older figures are much better than this. 10 bucks not worth it that's just my opinion if you guys really want this figure then go ahead and buy it but me i i do not recommend this so uh, i think that's it and i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video as much as i did and uh, if you do please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you already did make sure to hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated with future videos and again i would like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time